New at 10, we've uncovered new details on a story we first brought to you back in March. The woman behind a planned fake bridal show that scammed hundreds of vendors out of money is facing charges tonight. And now we've learned some of her victims are getting their money back. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau spoke with one victim tonight. He is live in Cranston with the latest details. The Boston 411 was heavily advertised and promised thousands of brides and grooms at the Heinz Convention Center for local vendors to sell their wares to. It sounded too good to be true, and it was. Matt Celeste was hoping to grow his photography business, and he thought he found the perfect bridal expo to show off his eye. Anything I asked her, color of the tablecloths, size of the tables, things like that, she was right there, no hesitation. And... Um, I talked to the Heinz Convention Center and they said it was on the schedule at the time and so that was pretty much enough for me to go for it. But now he is one of the victims, conned by 47-year-old Karen Tucker, who now faces one count of wire fraud and one count of aggravated theft. That could send the Pittsburgh woman to prison for up to 22 years. On a scale of 1 to 10, how surprised were you? 11. He's not the only one surprised. Investigators say there may be as many as 200 victims. And while Celeste was initially out about $1,000, some lost four times that. Boston's U.S. attorney says, quote, we were able to unravel a scheme that had a large impact with victims that spanned across the country. The Fed's involvement helped ease the financial pain for Celeste. PayPal, once the FBI got involved, had refunded the money for anybody who paid through PayPal. Any comfort in the fact that you weren't alone, that she fooled more than just you? Uh, yeah, there was a little bit of comfort in that. I mean, it was still a, still a hit because that was my, my big advertising plan for the year. But. Tucker was arraigned in Pennsylvania on charges today. She's expected to be extradited back to Boston to face even more charges. Live with the Mobile Newsroom in Cranston, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.